Hello, welcome to Descent into Avernus, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. This is Venture Ventures, and we play D&D 5e, and we will be playing it in a moment. I am Jake, the Dungeon Master. Uh, I will recap what happened last time. Unfortunately, we lost another player, but before that, um, we met a slimy fellow named Drac, who joined the party uh, as a sorcerer and uh, the the crew went after uh, Lulu who was taken in a previous encounter by some infernal hornets and uh, well these these hornets nests were floating uh, held aloft by the magic and the flying power of angels that were chained and or stuck to the side of these hornet's nests and uh, the crew decided to climb up uh, one of these hornet's nests and had a time of it one player fell that one player being Drac and uh, that was the first sign of of what was to come as the crew, the bean squad, tried to clear out this hornet's nest, found a wand of magic missile, which was nice, uh, did a decent job with the first encounter of hornets, um, and then made their way up through the various levels, finally getting to the last one where there were two more hornets and Lulu stuck to the side of the wall. And unfortunately, by that time, Drac had been uh, taken by the fate of Dice, Dice God. <laughs> I just want to throw it out there that Drac didn't fall once. He fell twice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's also the fate of Dice. Um, a team team failure. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, they rescued uh, Lulu, and that's where we left off with the two hornets that were guarding this upper area where Lulu is being defeated. And uh, the three of you stand there. Before we get to that, please, uh, the remaining three, you guys leveled, so please tell me what you took. Level eight, we'll start with Jarvis. Jarvis took the ability score increase, and he now has a plus three on dexterity, plus three on constitution, a little bit less weak. And he took two spells, Dimension Door and Banishment. Okay. Oh, those sound similar. Uh, Dave, what did you take as a barbarian? Um, Jerry, after getting stabbed a couple times with wasp uh stingers um he he now just has a new found resolve in his fighting so he's just gonna swing that that maul that great axe even harder than he already he was already swinging pretty hard but now he's just swinging for his life every single time he swings that thing so i took great weapon master and i've I've put a little something extra into every single swing, so I'll be taking a maybe a in... minus. I'll take it. I'll be taking a minus five on the rolls, but if I hit, I get plus ten damage. So I think the math works out in your favor if you do great weapon master every time. Yeah, especially if I choose to attack recklessly every time. Yep. Uh, Roz, what did you take? You're muted, sir. He I took got mute. my third level in cleric, so I honestly really didn't get anything. Ex I got third level spell slots, but no spells, so I can upcast my stuff a little bit. But other than that, nothing. A little bit a, more health. Oh yeah, you're just saying that because you have a cleric spell list, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. You guys are in this room with Lulu, and you cut her out of the disgusting ichor, slightly sweet-smelling ichor, and she uh, 
she uh, asks, "What's happened? What happened?" We're, we're busting you out of here, Lulu. The you three were taken of you by the wasps. Uh, yeah, the three of us. <laughs> Am I missing okay? something? Are you okay, oh, Lulu? Yeah. Um, Drac didn't make it. She doesn't. I don't think she knows Drac, does she? She met him for a brief oh, okay. stint. Yeah, sorry, Lulu. Drac's dead. Oh. What? Like. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just kind of accidentally dropped him when we were kind of coming up here. You got to work out or something, Jarvis. Yeah, Jarvis. Jesus Christ. Tell that. Tell that to the guy that wasn't holding onto the chain. He's dead, you jerk. Oh. Yeah, asshole. You're like a healing guy. Can't you just like bring him back? No, I'm primary. I'm a. I shoot things. You see how good I shoot things? It's what I do. <laughs> I could shoot him. You gotta work out or something. I don't Probably won't help. help. Yeah, won't help yeah, the situation. No, Jesus Christ. Tell that. Do I you think, think it's our... worth asking uh, our friend if we can bury him in the pyramid. <laughs> no, I don't think we're getting him down from here. Because we still have to get down. Oh, about that. Um, I, I, I kind of can't fly anymore. Great. Why? I I'm just really tired. I don't I I don't I use up all my oh energy. Boy. No, but you will be able to fly again at some point. Yeah, if I take a long nap, might feel a little bit better. Roz, about this point, you start hearing a. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like one of the angels. No. It definitely sounds familiar. Uh, can I discern the direction? Perception check. Oh my god. Is Brian another tabaxi? 18. <laughs> you see on the wall stuck to it. Uh, describe your character, Brian. Uh, so uh, you see a, uh, yes, another tabaxi. Uh, he's a lot shorter than the one you're used to hanging out with, uh, but he is brown striped like a tabby cat. Um, he's currently gooped to the wall, uh, so he doesn't have uh, this is awesome. much of his weaponry or anything, <laughs> but you can see that he is wearing a chain shirt um, and, and just some like comfortable brown canvas pants and boots. Uh, he's a rather dapper looking cat. He has a beautiful blue cloak that appears to not have gotten any goop on it somehow. It's like retained its pristineness um, despite him being fully gooped to the wall. Uh, he currently has no weapons on him, no shield or anything like that. Just goop. And is whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I huh? see him, or is he like completely? Goofed yeah, you can see. Like... You can see, uh, especially that cloak. Yeah, look can over. Help him out. Is that? No way. And I like make my way over <laughs> there with my short sword. <laughs> Cut him out of there. Yeah, you, you get him out. Ollie, is that you? O Ollie? What? Get, cut me down. <laughs> I what the hell are you doing here? Him what? Licking my fur furiously while prestidigitating all the goop off of me. You're in the oh, middle yeah. of a hornet's nest in hell. Uh, you know me. And I mean, so am I, I guess. Making but... the best of a <laughs> shitty situation, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if this is the best, sure. I've been worse. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I don't know, man. I, my head still hurts. I woke up two days ago and this was happening. I don't know. The oh. last thing I remember is I was in Baldur's Gate. It was at least a week ago. Thing with like three other cats. They were really cool. And they, they gave me something. They like gave me this like purple powder stuff and told me to lick it. You and know not to take powders from random like alley cats. I also know that that was those times are possibly the most fun times in my life. Yeah. So okay. Fair. 
So I said yes, and I did it. And uh, yeah, I don't, we went a lot of places. Uh, we we were in Baldur's Gate, but I guess I ended up in El Terrell because that's where I woke up. Only El Terrell was, you know, here. here. Yep. And then I you know, took another nap and uh, you know, making the best of a shitty situation. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. 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 What are you doing here? Um, I mean, thank you. Super yeah. happy you're here, by yeah, the way. Oh, absolutely. Anytime, my man. Um, everybody, this is Ollie. <coughs> Hi, Ollie. I'm Lulu. What? Oh, and Jerry's kind of hurt, so he's just like, uh, like, what? This is crazy. You know each other? What are the odds? <laughs> All what? What are the odds? All tabaxi know each other. That's just how it works. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Do you guys like headbutt each said... other when you meet each other, like cats do? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Jim. Sorry, my cat just unplugged my mic. <laughs> Literally, as you it. started yeah. talking. Even... No, I I give the party a a uh, rather flourish bow. Um, seems a bit courtly. Uh, Jerry, you said your name was you. Don't look like the wasp treated you so well. You nope. doing okay, man? Got poisoned a couple times by their stinger. Stung a couple times, obviously. Just all around having a bad day. But we got Lulu back, and now it seems like we got got you. Well, it's not much, but uh, here you go, bud. And I tap you on the shoulder. I'll give you a second level cure wounds. Sweet. Oh, well, too bad I rolled terribly. <laughs> you get Jerry just nine like, points of healing. Oh, Jerry just cracks his shoulders. Like, oh, I feel so much better. Lulu Thank says you. to you, "Oh, Jerry, is that your rotator cuff? That doesn't sound healthy." Yeah, it's just a, you know, it's a freaking javelin, old javelin injury. Uh, you look sturdy. I'm sure. Just a night's sleep, you'll feel fine. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, how but it works. can we get a night's sleep at some point soon? Uh, I wouldn't hellscape. recommend it here. Uh, I'm not an angel, so they didn't turn me into one of those. Uh, <clears throat> but I wouldn't stay. <laughs> yeah, I think we should get back to Mad Maggie. Or at least the encampment. Not you guys know here. Mad Maggie. I was on my way to see her. Oh, well, fancy that. How did you hear of Mad Maggie? Oh, Vlad told me about her. Uh, she's apparently a, a unique person to have a chat with, make a deal with, see what she uh, has to offer. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, if you like selling your soul, she she's gonna take your soul. It does seem like a lot of people around here want to take my soul. Yeah, no, literally, it's a every, common trend. Everyone, yeah. everyone, they'll turn it into a coin and then it powers these like crazy machines. It's nonsense down here. Not everyone does that with your soul, as I've learned. Oh, just to know. Okay. Uh, have you guys seen any backpacks about? No. Uh yeah, we 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 found a few down down there um down at the bottom of this uh wasp's nest. Why? Oh. Was something in it of yours? All all my stuff. Just my my whole backpack is what, probably down there. What are you missing? Oh, like my sword, my shield, a bunch of stuff, some ropes, oh. some food. I don't think know. we found any of that. I only saw some we saw some medical supplies. That's we may have to go searching for your. Well, let me let me go pop down and take a look, and then. Well, are you guys going down that way yeah. anyway? I mean, yeah, I, I can pop should. down and be back up and and look at the split. Well, it was near the exit, so we could go down there. Do you guys oh, head down there? Down. All right. I recommend uh, everybody being sneaky. If uh, the wasps, they come back and patrol a lot. Uh, do we do we just want to leave Drax's body just just right there? I mean. I'm not carrying them down the chain. Body? You can't kinda fly. Kind of just push his body out the window, maybe. At least it's not up here. What, what does that matter? <laughs> Sadistic. <laughs> right? Whoa. By the way, uh, uh, sorry, what, what did you say your name was? Oh, Ollie. 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 Uh, are, are you, are you, can you uh, take care of yourself? Uh, I, I only ask because... Our, our last couple compadres, uh, uh, let's just say we're not good at uh, everyone staying alive um, that hangs out with us. 
he uh i would say that hangs out with you specifically he, Jarvis. he squares up looks you up and down and just goes can you stay alive i'll be fine <laughs> okay just making sure yeah all all he here has done a few jobs with me in the past he'll take care of himself just fine that's what the last guy said do you guys stealthing yeah. yeah do i have are my third level spell slots that i because we haven't slept technically do i have those now no no okay no. do you have your pass without a trace thing going or no nope not without that i am very stealthy 18 18 9 9 17 17 Jerry muted 11 11 noted okay um you head down there and on your way you don't see any signs of any more hell wasps and uh looking for your stuff make a investigation check can I assist him? Yes. I just want to laugh, by the ways, Jake, about my magic missile wand. Did you do that intentionally, or did you roll that? Uh, no, I rolled that. That is hilarious. Yeah, I was pretty annoyed with that roll. <laughs> <laughs> 13 is what I got. Did you roll with advantage? Yes. Okay. Uh, Thank you for that, because the other was worse. <laughs> you find your stuff easy enough. And uh, you also find a helm of some kind. It's got uh, some odd markings on it that are hard to discern what they mean. I want to identify Ooh. that. <laughs> well, this is a nifty helmet. As a ritual or... If we have some time, I ask the party if we have any time. Uh, I can can we later. can we wait till we're out of here? Yeah, because I don't want to be here any longer than necessary. They, there might be more wasps. No, mm -hmm. I'll carry it on my head. I just pop it on my head and oh, throw my shit. backpack on. Um, my last. Uh, so now I have my shield. On. My shield is a small round <laughs> buckler, um, and my sword is currently a scimitar, um, but it looks like it's been warped. Um, the hilt is an intricate design, so the base of the sword looks like a pretty basic sword, and the, the sword itself is like a darker metal that's like taken on a slightly more uh, vicious looking edge. Sweet. Cool. You guys heading out, or what are you doing? Yeah, yeah I think gonna... we should get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Let's uh, make some acrobatics or athletics check. Hey, Lulu, is there any way you can maybe take Jarvis down? I'm afraid his arms are very weak. Nope, natural 20, baby. Oh, and my, yeah, I actually have a plus three on acrobatics, so. It's just my strength. That sucks. Wait, I thought it was athletics. It's yeah. either. Oh, oh, either. Oh, both mine are 11 three. for Jerry? Mine's a 14. <laughs> Mine's a seven. Okay. That dice is going away for now. <laughs> uh, the, you, this, well. these chains aren't your friend here, Brian. Uh, <laughs> right now. Uh, you, chains you're able friend? to stay on, but you find yourself slipping, and you get a lot of anxiety all of a sudden, and so you slow your pace down substantially. What? I don't feel that anxious. I start to feel like go, give a little bit, um, but I go ahead and just uh, I go, huh, I got something for this, and I enhance ability on myself. Okay. Um, and I will uh, give myself cat's grease. Cool. Uh, we need another check to for the last half of. For everybody. Yep. Twenty-one Sorry, advantage. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Raj, you got 21, or who got 21? 20, I got 21. Okay. And Jarvis, you got what? 15. 15, okay. Uh, what'd you get, Brian? Who won with my advantage? Oh, <laughs> oh my Two God. Ones. God. <laughs> Two won. Well, you don't feel like uh, 
Uh, you, you felt like you were you a tinge of anxiety before you sn- sloughed it off, and now you really feel anxiety as you're falling through the air. Uh, I'm falling with confidence. With confidence, Jerry, Jerry tried to grab him. Um, we never said what the order was. You never said what the order was, so I'm going to say no. Uh, and if nobody wants to do anything, Lulu's can't. Gonna... second. Unless I can, or can't? I mean, can you? Jerry, I don't Jerry, know if I have anything. I'm Jerry, checking. no, I'm good. Okay, go on. Jerry uses <laughs> beat sense to try to send out a signal to any flying creature. <laughs> I'm here uh, in a half a second. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Lulu's going to make an attempt to snatch you, and she rolled a two, so that's not going to work. <laughs> These chains, they don't like me very uh, much. That's going to be oh. 50 feet. At least it's the last half. Yeah. Oh, and we're going God. down. I don't have to try and get back up. <laughs> yeah. It's a race. 11 bludgeoning damage as you slam into the hard packed soil of. Yeah, it was a terrible roll. Hard packed soil of Avernus. You guys are above me, so you can't see uh, that I deftly land like a cat would, though it hurts. I hide my shame. Your paws are... I stand up and brush the dust off. And... You guys coming? Y- yep. There's you... a faster way, you know. You did that Jerry on just... purpose? Uh, Lulu yep. says to you. I tried to grab yeah, you. Entirely but... and completely. I got distracted. Cats always land on their feet. It is known. Whoa, is that true? Yeah. I wish I could fall that that cool. And Jerry just slaps him on the back. Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <talent. laughs> oh. Is our car still a little bit away? Can we see it? You can see it. Oh, thank God. I was really worried it was going to get taken. There's, we should make our way back to the vehicle. There is some, like, some hell was spit on it. Maybe uh, someone uh, was trying uh, to make it part of their encampment or make a new home using it, but it's not engulfed in the spit currently. Okay. Uh, you guys can get in and uh, it can break free of the the uh, spit easily enough. Um, getting back to Mad Maggie, if that's where you want to go, yep. uh, it will take you about a day so all of you will have exhaustion and those of you already have exhaustion will have another level of exhaustion so i'm just letting you guys know can we sleep in rotations uh you can the back so you're gonna do like explain how you how you'll do it like while one person's driving, the others are sleeping. For how long? Well, it's gonna take like us like a watch. full. Yeah. Okay. I only need four like hours. The person on watch is driving instead of watching. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I only need four hours of sleep. So if I can take first uh, sleep, I can get a few hours of shut eye in, and I'll be good to go. So you guys can stay up another four hours. I can. Uh, your Fey ancestry lets you do the meditation, right? Yeah. For four hours. The yeah. Trance. And you can do active active um, stuff after that. Yeah. Uh, y- Just double check know, on fa- that. No, Fey ancestry is the advantage on charmed. It's something else. Uh, it's trance is what you're looking for. Trance. Yeah, you don't need to sleep, but meditate semi-consciously for four hours a day while meditating. You can dream. Blah, blah, blah. After resting this way, you gain the same benefit of eight hours of sleep. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, so who, it'll be Jarvis and who else? I'll drive after uh, that. It's fine. And then I believe I've we'll need another one. one of these, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'm just happy I don't have to walk. Walking here sucks. Jarvis, are you driving first? Well, I was gonna try to get four hours in first, first, and yeah, then yeah, I'll drive take, first, take over. Okay. Who already has a level of exhaustion? 
I do. Ross. Okay, so the, for the people who are sleeping first are the exhausted people, right? No, Roz yeah. is. No. Well, Roz is sleeping second, I thought. Well, he's going to go to sleep in four hours, which I don't think will give him Two a point hours. of exhaustion yet. Or... Yeah. So we're all good, right? Yeah. So yeah. Roz, then um, Ollie, then Jarvis. Make a survival check to navigate your way across the plains of Avernus, and I will do some encounter checks. All of us? Uh, no, just uh, the person driving. Oh. 14. 14, okay. You make it through your first shift uh, without any issues. Uh, who's going second? Ollie, yeah. Survival. I missed what kind of check it was. What more am I rolling? Survival. Survival, gotcha. I'm pretty good at that because I'm good at everything. 21. Nice. Uh, you think you're making your way with the help of descriptions of which way to go. Um, and uh, I start pushing the boundaries of what I can do in this vehicle without waking my party up. Do some sweet drifts. Sure, yeah. Spin out <laughs> once or twice. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, it does. Life, you know. It does make the soul, the soul coin meter go down a bit, and yep. uh, sure does. When you're about to come on shift, Jarvis, you realize that you're about to run out of run out of juice, fuel, soul fuel. I swear we had more of this, and we were gonna be able to make it all the way back. Ollie. Did we take a detour? A detour? No. Just driving right along the path. Okay. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. I'm in the direction I got. I followed him. Saw all the landmarks. And I take a soul coin out of my pocket. My only soul coin out of my pocket. And I put it into the machine. Yep. And it huh. accepts it happily as you hear screaming pain and... I don't know how you feel about it, but it would make most good aligned people shiver and uh, cringe in horror. Eh, a little creepy. Well, I'm going to go get some sleep. Have a good drive. Jarvis, right. survival check. 14. Okay. Uh, luckily. I assume uh, I got my full long rest in, right? You did. Because there was no encounter for the first two. As you're driving, you see in the distance a uh, a uh, a like cloud of dust being brought up. It's very far away. Um, you're not sure if they're coming towards you, uh, but you spend your time driving very puckered, very anxious that they're coming your way, but it turns out they're not. Um, on the plains of Avernus, they're they're doing something else. These Hell Riders or whatever they call themselves, um, and you make it to Fort Knucklebone, and you see a familiar sight of the gates and the guard towers with some red caps in them, flipping you guys off, yelling at you, and doing their normal red cap asshole stuff. I and use they let you illusion in. to make like an explosion right in front of one of their faces. Uh, just to surprise them. Let's do a. Uh... But it doesn't make any sound because it's minor. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I want to. Um... Let's make it a performance check. How far away are we For from sure. them? Uh, whatever his spell distance is on that thirty, 30 feet. feet. I mean, it's just like a gate, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, twelve. My dice are terrible tonight. <laughs> uh, hopefully that doesn't continue. Um, hopefully. Good thing I have good modifiers. <laughs> the red cap just kind of swats at it, and uh, one of them raises the gates, and you're let in. And uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we immediately... Are we all, we're all awake <laughs> at this point? Yeah, well... Uh, we immediately to start to sleep. <laughs> J Jerry, you were sleeping the whole time. Oh, I never had to. Okay, got it. 
So do yeah, we, all we all get our rest, yeah? Did we all get our long rest? Then? Yep. It was more than eight hours, so. Oh, four knuckle bones. This is what it looks like. You know, the hand was described to me. I I was told I'd see that. I wasn't expecting a pyramid. What do you think? We built it. We Loose. Built it. Loosely. Do you uh, like beans? Don't. Of course I like beans. Oh, that's good. You got beans? I got beans. I have I I have a couple of cans of beans. I've been carrying uh, them around for a while. We're a couple we're, cans of beans. We're actually the bean yeah. squad. Oh hey. Yeah. I got beans. We, yeah. we like beans. To hang yeah, out with us. Beans. You are obligated to like beans. Yeah. Throw it out there. Well, fortunately, I do. Should I cook up some beans? Yeah. I'm pretty hungry. I mean, if you guys I, I'm hungry. I could eat got beans. beans. I'm sick of eating forever. these rations. Are you proficient with cooking utensils, anyone? <laughs> nope. I'm half proficient. <laughs> Damn. Make a check for me. This is going to be great food. Uh, what stat do you want me to use? Um, what stat do you want to use? <laughs> um, I would say it's probably wisdom is what I usually go for cooking. Okay, that doesn't sure. help me out. Like a feel. Have... Like a, you go for like yeah, a feel. You're not. Gotta, yeah. Exactly. I'm not following a recipe. Yep. Um. So that plus half proficiency. So at least I get that. Well, my dice are still terrible. That one's gonna go up there. Seven. <laughs> oh boy. It's warming up canned beans. How do you fuck it up? <laughs> Maybe the can of beans are dented. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's just the universe that did, he, didn't turn out well. When he opens the can, it kind of releases a poof of something, and you're not real sure what it is. Some pressurized nonsense in there. Um, and then <laughs> uh, cooking it, you see him... Uh, you have spices at all, you think? Uh, yeah, he, he he would. Okay, yeah. he He's spilling spices everywhere. Uh, and you start to think, Roz, like... Uh, doesn't everything taste like crap in hell anyways? What? Yeah. Why is he putting spices on it? Anyways, so you eat the beans and it tastes terrible. Uh, and the beans, the beans are, have no, they're like gelatin almost. Oh, oh I've been carrying these around for days. I found them in the inn that I woke up in in El Toro. That's a shame. <laughs> well, I got two more cans. Uh, maybe they'll be better. Probably just the fact that we're in hell. Kind yeah, of ruined I mean, everything. Real downer around here. Is our friend still smoldering? Yes. <laughs> Damn, it's been like days. Say his name. Kairos. Say his name. <laughs> Did I say it like three times? No. He won't come back from three times. It's Aww. not Beetlejuice. Four times? Maybe. Uh, Two times this time. Uh, what do you guys want to do first? We should go tell Mad Maggie that we... Fuck, what was the guy's name that we just took out? Hold on. Hey, hey, uh, Ollie, can I, can I borrow that, that thing on your head? I, I, I can kind of tell you what it does. Oh, sure. Stare at it for a little bit. Yeah, that's fine by me. You guys got any other fun shit in your bag? I believe so, actually. What are you looking for? Anything specific? I've got a ring that does bad things. You want it? No, nobody wants the ring. Depends on your definition of bad. Uh, Saluman or something like that? Or... I don't know. I mean, I picked up the scimitar. Uh, didn't look like this before, but it, Sor Sauron? it's nothing special. <laughs> it looks neat, but it really isn't anything special. Uh, my shield isn't anything special. Really, this cloak is my, is, is my favorite thing. Anything else I'm, I'm not particularly partial to. What's, what's so fancy about your cloak here? I think it's Sauron. It's beautiful. Oh, he described it. Yeah, it uh, it is a beautiful blue velvet cloak with the inside is like a scarlet red silk and it has silver embroidery um, along the edge. Uh, it does look pristine, like it's freshly made, freshly cleaned, despite being in hell. Lulu's touching it with her trunk and is just like, "Oh, it's so soft and nice." <sighs> it's so soft, Lulu. <laughs> just a wrap, Lulu. <laughs> Lulu goes, Isn't "It easy. is. It is." <laughs> Um, would a uh, plot or would a uh, mace do you any good? You uh, I'm more partial to swords myself. Swords. swords. 
Oh, do you have a long sword? Gladly Dude, use I've got a long sword. sword. I don't know who's holding on to it, but I have my notes that I have a long sword covered with a velvet bag. That has long since been identified and used, and you no longer have. Oh, did we use that? Oh, then why do I still have it highlighted? I should get rid of that. It's gone. Yeah, I was gonna. Do you want a long sword? Well, I mean, yeah, that's what Vlad carries. And oh, that sword. His is gorgeous, but really, I mean, I'd like to try one out. I've always been partial for to the lighter weapons, but I want to give a long sword a shot. I've got what was your character's. Liar's longsword. You do? <laughs> so I will give that to you. I do find it very attractive. And I, <laughs> I take it and I you know, wave it around. Um, rather clumsily, actually, uh, for the time being, but I will take it. Why clumsily? Gorgeous sword. I'm, I'm uh, identifying that. I need that. the long rest first to turn it into a hex weapon. Okay. And you just had one, and so I didn't. Yeah, and I didn't think of this before the long rest. So fair enough. There we go. Oops. So heading into Maggie's, uh, Jerry. I get enough time to identify that. Uh, yes. Think that helm. The helm of telepathy. You think you can uh, detect thoughts with it? Mm, I share this beautiful news <laughs> with my party. Sweet helm. I don't have that, that much use very for nifty. it. I mean, I'm always interested in what people are thinking. Creepy. Don't give it to Ollie. I, I put it on my head. Nobody that wants it should have <laughs> that kind of power. <laughs> don't you already have something on your head? Me? No, no oh. Jarvis. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. A circlet or something? One of you... Maybe I'm I don't think I have anything. A different I have campaign. no... Yeah, I don't got, think we've got a circlet. I have no uh, no attuned items at all. Okay. Oh, yeah. When when I gave you the helm, I did take out um, a... Uh, I already forgot what it's actually called. A Robin Hood hat. You know, the triangle ones? Uh -huh. with the the tricorn? You know, they're not, not tri quite a tricorn. It's, it's a P I word. Park, parkwit or... Park... Parkit? No, bicocket. That's what it's bicocket. called. Bicocket. Bicocket. Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> pull out a bi of course it's a bicocket. I pull out a bicocket and slap that on my head uh, to complete the picture. Perfect. Jerry, did you remember the name of that hill? The hill? Not the uh, I remember the name of the guy who we killed. What was his name? Saruman? Saruman. <laughs> you were close. Saruman? <laughs> That's Someone's been watching Westworld. <laughs> what? I've Why? only seen season one. Oh, there's a thing named Saruman, I believe. Solomon? That is not what Saruman That's not is what from. that's from. How dare you. <laughs> how how Sweet very, Lord. very dare you. Very, uh, very Lord of the Rings-y. Uh, oh, it's yeah. very Lord, Lord of the, the Ring-y. Rings. <laughs> <laughs> not like the main antagonist. Oh. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> wow. wow. I knew it was, wow. I knew it was similar. Wow to everybody. <laughs> I think I knew a character named Bilbo. It's very Lord of the Ringsy. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. So you go see Maggie, and she is in there uh, working on a different bag. Uh, you've seen her carry these these pouches around her. Her. Uh, just strapped around her uh, chest um, and she's sewing a, a new one uh, with some magic thread and uh, she she turns to you and says oh, you're back again are you? I we are back um, how can we I took help care you? just want to let you know we took care of that Haruman fella for you oh uh, well I mean I did appreciate I don't have any he works for Zeriel so I appreciate any uh, unwelcome news coming to my ear that is unwelcome to Zeriel so yes uh, th but not necessarily for me yeah no not for you but you you, you, you name dropped him I so did uh, figured just, I'd let you know thank you uh, thank you for telling me because I enjoy 
that sort of thing. And she turns to a little side table next to her and writes something down and uh, turns back to you guys and says, uh, you have a new member? This is Ollie. Uh, Maggie. Yeah, Drock, uh, about that. Uh, remember how we left with him? Yes. Well, he wasn't as uh, helpful, as useful as you said, and he kind of fell off of the chain while we were climbing up. It's not what killed him. He died and, to hell and, wasps. And then, and then, still was a strong man and continued to fight with us and a wasp <laughs> <laughs> wasn't as You're helpful. Really and Jerry, and just... Jerry like slaps uh, Jarvis on the back. He's like, "Good save, man. Good save." Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he was useless. <laughs> I mean, he kind of was. <laughs> he was useless before he died, like a man. I wish I had that help of tele- telepathy on Brian right now. I think I know what he's thinking, but I'm not quite sure. I'd like to really know. Um. Anyways, uh, Mad Maggie says, "Oh, that's a sh- that's a shame." Uh, so, uh, that does happen in hell. I don't know what else to necessarily tell you. I'm not one for eulogies or or making people feel better. But uh, yeah, neither you're- am I. Upwards and onwards is what I say. Maggie, pleasure to meet you. I'm Ollie. She doesn't shake your hand. She says, pleasure. I'm Mad Maggie. This is my establishment. Right. And Yes, I, I was coming to meet you, actually, uh, when I ran into these yahoos. Well, I just know the one yahoo. The other one, I assume, is a yahoo. And Jerry, he's pretty great. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Lulu is, too. I like this guy. Uh, and may but... I say, Maggie, you are the most sane person that we've talked to down here. Are you trying to get on my bad side, Jerry? No, I'm just saying you don't seem. I like, earned too mad. my title, Mad Maggie. Okay, well, I just trying to pay you a compliment. I'm sorry. Well, in fact, it was not, Jerry. Yep. Got it. Message received. No compliments. Got it. And I start rummaging around in my bag. And I pull out just a small uh, stone and just say, uh, I was supposed to deliver this to you. Couldn't tell you what it is. It looks like an egg uh, from Vlad, uh, Vladimir Koronova III. He said uh, to bring that to you. And uh, there you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Now, what else can I help you with? Nothing really. I just wanted to meet you. I heard it was an interesting Fort Knucklebones, and you'd have a uh, possibly interesting things to do, or trade, or jobs. Oh, or... do you do you have something? Uh, any other things you'd like to trade, or uh... mm, my services <laughs> mostly? As uh, you know, I'm new here in Hell, just trying to find my place. If, if that makes sense. Uh, it does make. A lot of sense. There are plenty of people here trying to make their their place in this environment, including myself. Uh, hold on. Just checking something real quick. That's not what I wanted. All right. Um... Yes, uh, well, and Lulu at this point is tugging on you, Jarvis, and she goes, she's kind of whispering to you, Jarvis, saying, did I tell you I forget, did I tell you, uh, what, what, what my thoughts were, because who was I talking to, I was talking to you, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. (laughs) And, uh. So you don't remember? Uh, when? Anyways, I th- I think I've. Re- Gar- Gary's actually forgetting, not Jarvis. I don't remember this. Who was casting sending before? It was Gary. Drac. No, it was, was Drac. Drac. It was Drac. 
Uh, and then the messaging was Jarvis. Correct. Uh, the messaging, I think, was just me and and Drac talking. I didn't use it with Lulu for anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was using it to, to find her, yeah. Yeah, but you I were using it for it. messaging, and he was casting sending, and she goes, it might have been Drac I was t- talking to, but uh, I, th- I think, well, I'll tell you guys once we're out of here. Maggie says, well, I do have a... Uh, um, you can always go out on patrols with my war bandits if you like. Uh, that's a dangerous mission. Uh, I can pay you in soul coins. Uh, it's not, it will take you many missions to gather any substantial amount of soul coins. Uh, Lulu. How many... Uh, does anyone else still have soul coins? I know I had one, but I spent it. Are we out? One more I have. One more I have. Do you have one, uh, Dave? I'm checking right now. I don't, I don't think I was ever given one. Yeah. Well, they guys, split up, they guys, split up like three sleeping. of them. You guys were sleeping, but we ran out of fuel in the... And the vehicular on the way back. So I used my last soul coin for that. Oh, shit. How many, how many war band missions for what's the, what's the mission to soul coin ratio here? We're talking Maggie. Uh, I can do like three missions per soul coin. I also have, Oh no, no, sorry. I do have a soul coin. Sorry. I do have one. I also have, uh, a, a colleague by the name of Smiler the Defiler who is uh, lost out by the uh, the demon zapper and uh, hasn't came back uh, the de- what's the demon zapper? yeah what's the demon zapper? Uh, I have to spell it out. It is a thing, a, a thing that zaps demons. Does it only zap demons, or does it zap everything? No, no, it zaps demons mostly. I don't really know uh, how exactly it works, but uh... <laughs> and Jerry just goes out of nowhere. He's just like, "Whoa, Maggie, that is crazy! <laughs> like that is mad." Whoa. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, uh, well, thank you, Jerry. And continues on. <laughs> and Lulu is like, guys, did I tell you uh, that I think I, I messed up on the dream? I sent that hill was not where we should have gone. I think it was somewhere else. Uh, I think I told Drac that, but he's dead now. And oh. uh, we can talk. And Maggie says, "Yes." Yeah, so if you are interested in finding Smiler the Defiler, uh, we can talk about payment. Where's the demon zapper? Is that here in Fort Knucklebones? Oh no, it's sense. out in the wastes. I can give oh, you yeah. a general idea uh, as things go. Uh, it is subject to change, like most things here. So, what what would the payment on that be? Oh, what sounds fair to y'all? How how much do you like uh, Smiler the Defiler? Like is possibly not the right word. Mainly just curious about him. He's a very mm-hmm. resourceful fellow. Oh, see, there you go. That's something definitely worth uh, worth worth making sure they're okay, right? How? Oh <laughs> no, I meant that in that he's very good at surviving somehow. I, I, I'm not quite sure how, but uh, it's it's. How how far do you think this demon zapper is from here? Maybe a couple days. Oh boy. Well, I mean, so our fuel cost covered because we're gonna have to get out there, to get back. 
Um, I'll give you two soul, uh, fuel co- uh, soul coins for uh, fuel. Two soul coins for fuel. We'll say uh, two more for payment. Three, three more for payment. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say if Smiler doesn't pay you, I'll give you two soul coins. Likely he will pay you for finding him if I think he's in the state he's going to be in, although he might just be fine and out there hallucinating on something. Boy, that sounds uh, like a deal to me. Do you have anything, like a letter or something, that we can give him so he doesn't think we're out there just trying to murder him? Uh, Sure. And she turns to her side table, opens a little drawer, and takes out a desiccated finger and uh, gnaws on the end of it and then hands it to you, Rolikos. What? He'll know this is you? Uh, yes, that's what you wanted. All right. Put it in the bag of holding. Okay. And, Smells uh... real bad. I assume we're, we'll know him by his uh, disposition. Nice, uh, disposition, thank you. Yes. So, yes. well, Maggie, if you were any matter, you'd be a wasp in jelly. Coming on a little strong there, Jerry. Uh, I do appreciate <laughs> your effort. Uh... <laughs> Anything uh, else? Hey. How about a map? Oh yes. Do you have a map? Yes. Uh, so uh, loosely. Chuck told me you of had of a map. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, but things seem unreliable here. Okay. Uh, she she looks at your map, and let me pull up the map. I don't know. I'm making myself. Pronounce the P on map. Feels like the right thing to do. We need some health potions, guys. Do you? I, la- I used my last one on roller coaster when he uh, went took a nappy nap. Yeah, I used my last one. Y'all uh, need health potions? Uh, uh, I'm also Dan. out. Ain't nobody got health potions. Are you guys got your map up? Yep. <laughs> All right, it's roughly in the middle. Do you see a dark uh s- scar in the middle? Yep, like a black scar. And then to the left of that, there's this thing yep. sticking up with a, a reddish orb in the middle. You mean the demon zapper? Yeah. <laughs> so have like a yellow glow oh. around it, kind of? Did you I give you? What map did I give you? Zapper? The big one of Avernus? It doesn't, it's not labeled, is it? No, I was just fucking, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> No, it's just, I mean, you don't recognize it? It's its like a household demon zapper. Everyone knows what those look like. <laughs> yes. There it is. So that thing is the demon zapper. And where the fuck is Fort Knuckle, though? Yeah, I didn't know if that was actually on here explicitly or not. It's, uh, not quite. It is, uh, uh how do I explain this? <laughs> See, this thing's not on a grid. Agreed. It is. Zoom, Zoom share screen, marks. annotate. Pardon me. Zoom, share screen, annotate. Zoom, share screen, annotate. I don't want it. Well, that's fine. Here, let me try that. We'll give it a shot. It's an artistic description. How do I do that? Anyway. Uh, if you click the green share screen button at the bottom and pick the window that you'd like to share. And then once that happens, there is a green bar 
and there's a view options button. Uh, and there should be like an annotate thing somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Are you seeing it? it. Yeah, yep. I'm seeing it. Do you see the circles? Yeah, see yeah. The circles. Yeah. I'm so doing that's where it. We are. You're doing it. You're roughly You're here. <laughs> You're roughly Perfect. here. Okay, and then just circle the demon zapper just so I'm sh certain. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> you technology. Great job, Jake. Well. All right. This is two circular rivers on the map. But this is all on. subject to change. All right, how do I stop stop sharing? That I hit the stop sharing button. The usually. Usually, yeah, that one. There you go. Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, it's sometimes fun to act like I'm completely incompetent. Because <laughs> sometimes <Yeah>. I am. <laughs> uh... Oh, Maggie. <laughs> oh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just need to get to there. Any distinguishing landmarks so that we know we're in the right direction while we're heading out there? Um... We know where the irrevocable suck sack is. You'll pass some chains on the ground, possibly some uh, suck sacks. Several of them. This some uh, muck. Do you say cats. success? Hey, uh, Jake, we've got a black screen on the Twitch stream. Feck. Sorry. My friend just told me. Is what the screen hell? Share? That is a screen share. Broke everything. Sorry. Don't listen to Gary's terrible ideas. Well, why? I don't know. It shouldn't break it. That doesn't make sense. Right? True. It I mean, theoretically, no. Depends on how you are recording. Let me know when it comes up. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Still. It just said the part of the black yeah. screen. So we're a little bit. Hello, from your past. Ten seconds ago. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. We've got video. We're back. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so you guys head out of Maggie's unless there's anything else you'd like to do? As Jerry walks out, he's just like, man, she is crazy. Jerry, get the I hell out of here. Crazy girl. Hey, hey, uh, Rollercoast. I was just flipping through my, my, my book here, and sometimes I just jot notes down. Do you remember uh, putting a yellow gem into into your bag? Um, now that I've got my pearl, I can figure out what that is. Oh, sure. I didn't think I didn't know it was special. I wrote identify later on it for some reason. So where's it from? It is the same place when we got the bracers was under the Just... church okay i don't remember the gem but i do remember the, where we got the bracers it's good it saves us some time it's good with everybody here we can piece it together <laughs> what gem <laughs> <laughs> sure uh... yeah my notes are raya is dead braces and yellow gem just uh yeah try to write down where it was next time yeah Let's... i actually have uh right above it i just Roz spoke before me so okay package was supposed to be here by eight o'clock it's not here yet what's in the package my vape juice because mm. i can't go into stores anymore <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting everything delivered now, except for groceries. Much. Groceries, I do curbside pickup. I like to grocery shop. I, I do still, too. I still I grocery shop, but we go much less frequently. Yeah, I have four, three to four meals delivered a week, so I have to do it a lot less too. I do every place. yellow diamond. Great. Yeah, that thing. It's a yellow diamond. It's yellow. Elemental gem. Also a ski slope difficulty. Yellow diamond is a ski slope. 
<laughs> no, don't they just call them double black well, diamonds? There's, there's black. Uh, it's like blue diamond. I don't know. I, I was just blue joking. triangles, black. Please diamond. take everything I say exactly literally. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> we will. Always. So never, if I were never joking to take the time to identify this, I learn what it is. Yes. Cool. Hey guys. We've been holding onto this thing for a while now, and I know what it does now. What does it do? If we break it, it summons an earth elemental. How do you break a diamond? Don't you need another diamond? <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, you ruined our our minutes of hilarity that could have ensued, and when he tried to break a diamond uh, in the middle of combat, I could have just been like, nope, doesn't break. Keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a rather nifty, uh, nifty gem there you got. Do you know how to break a gem? Yep. Are you going to share with us how to break a gem? Nope. But I'll happily break it for you if you'd like. Classic the last time we game. just randomly summoned something in this camp <laughs> it was a pyramid oh not here why would you summon an earth elemental here that's ridiculous. why would we summon a pyramid god only knows i thought you built the pyramid <laughs> same thing uh, ooh, uh who wants to hold on to this no oh, i'm certainly hold on to it i mean like a relic house. you can trust me this guy's new i'll take it <laughs> for now it's actually pretty smart. Uh, something gets up close to you, break it. Yeah. With all these diamond fine. arrows I have. Okay, I put in my notes. I don't have it anymore. So, cool. You. It was just called an. Is it an actual item I can just drop? Ele in? It's under it elemental is. gem in D and D. Okay. And it's yellow earth elemental. Uh, Lulu, once you guys get out of Maggie's, says to you guys, So, guys, uh, I was telling Drac, rest in peace, I was telling Drac that uh, I think I made a mistake and I I think we should be going towards this large thing with spikes sticking out of the air and there's like a bubble with something in it and I think that could be the place, but I'm not sure. Also, there's like... I. I saw like I remember talk like this this person this archduke or archdevil named Bell who who uh, hates Zariel and maybe they'd help us if we ever do, needed help. Do you know where they are? No. Maybe someone okay. does. Bet you Mad Maggie does. Maybe. Ollie, who the fuck was Vlad, this person you're working for? Oh, Vlad. Well, I wouldn't say working for. That's, I mean, we don't really like to define our, our I mean, I don't even want to call it a relationship. Uh, I, I met him, I met him uh, about a day, day and a half ago. Uh, super charming. I mean, downright hot. I, there's no other way to say it. He's, 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 he's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, very not uh, like anything anyone else that I met down here in hell. Everyone seems to be pretty grotesque monsters. He wasn't. Very charming. Uh, yep. Did you give him your soul? Uh, all, Ollie. <laughs> a little bit. I did Ollie. Bit. Do, you, what is, do you get voices dude, inside your dude. head? He was so hot. Uh, nope. Nope, no voices. <clears throat> Dave, I think that's just you that this is happening to. <laughs> Who's Dave? I mean, crap. His Zoom <laughs> says Dave, and I said Dave. <laughs> Jerry. You're my next character. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Schmodrick. Anyway, you guys should be glad one day. He's, he's great. He's really great. What's it feel like to lose part of your soul? Awesome. 
really 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 cool here watch this watch this are you ready are you ready watch what i can do and my eyes just go like super dilated like full high on catnip um i'm like (laughs) now i see pretty colors i can do this Vlad, Vlad, show me how to do this. That you shouldn't be. Your eyes are super sensitive, dude. And they can see so many more colors now. This is why you should sell your soul, guys. It's awesome. All right. we'll, you we'll sold, so you sold your know. soul to see colors? Uh, it's more than just colors. Um, What's mechanically happening here is I'm turning on my Eldritch Sight. Oh. One of my invocations. Um, and I can detect magic now. Woo! Woo! Whenever I want! But it also has the added effect of making me high on catnip, so that's fun. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, Vlad. Oh, Vladdy. And meanwhile, I'm down just like... Alright, let's get back to the car. Come on, Ollie. You guys, you guys are shiny. If, maybe he'll <laughs> follow us if we're, if we're shiny. Come on, guys. I do follow. Oh, so did we take the two soul coins from Mad Maggie? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Did I you will... guys hear me when I said I had a soul coin left too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll take one of the soul coins if no one called one of them yet. Hold on to one. How full is our soul meter oh. on our machine? What is our soul About equity? Half. About half. Should we just drop another one of these bad boys in? Fill it up? No. No. What if it gets stolen? And then we've wasted a soul coin. Let's fill it up when we need to. Oh, so does one coin fill up half a tank, or one coin fill up a whole tank? Because you know you don't want to overfill. And I don't, I don't know how to stop. And you use is half it, a coin. Is it, is it, is it half full or half empty? Half full for sure. If okay. you look at the meter, it's clearly half full. I don't know. Oh, okay, I, I kind of see it. I'm not gonna argue about which way the meter is. Uh, going. did, did, did you guys, um. I used my last, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I used my last uh, little vial of reliving thing on, on Rollercoast, and I'm I'm all out. Um, vial of living things. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Health potions. Ah. I don't right. know if we can get any more of those here. Yeah, you all use health potions? Seems I, silly. I, unreliable. What, what, what do you mean? Need? Super reliable. Are they? Because you you don't know who brewed that. They've worked for me every time. You've lucked out. You don't know. I'm telling you. I mean, I I don't know. I don't make health potions. I and mean, it, it just seems like the, these medicines are just peddled by literally anyone. They're red. If, if it's red, drink it. Is that how it works? Because it just always seems suspicious. You Ollie, know I don't trust Ollie, them. you <laughs> gave you... your soul up to get high. Yeah, just drink the <laughs> potions, my dude. Ha- have you ever had a purple potion before? Because we we did we we found some couple like a week of course ago. I drank a purple potion. That's an obvious yes. It's just these health potions. It's the rampant trust in the health potion market. I don't understand. There's no. Would you drink an no orange standard. potion? Well, of course. What about so a what's blue? Wrong, what's wrong with red? I would even drink a red potion. Just don't tell me it's a, a health potion. It's the government. It's the government. It's fine. Like, get you. <laughs> it's we the just, government. We just won't tell you. Sorry, what my eyes have there's, more there's, there's enough no, I said this. It's the I, government. I, it's the I government. They're going to get you. We're, we're, we're nowhere near the government anymore. We're kind of in this 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 new area. It's yeah, that's called fire. You, know, you, you yeah. trust the, the, the health potion market in hell is trustworthy? Mm-hmm. The, mm. the bureaucracy in hell is as as bureaucratic <laughs> and as stifling as any government. So yeah, maybe even more. So. Maybe even more so. Yeah. So, hey Ollie, man, like, what do you do for work? Anything I can find, really. I'm a passable musician. It's not my passion, but have I'm you ever okay. sold yourself? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm a bit of a mercenary, so I suppose, yep, kind of, Lulu, kind of. Is that what you meant, Lulu? Yeah, I, I meant, I was really <laughs> leaving it up to interpretation, so yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, no, definitely, I've done that too. Cool. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not judgmental like some of my counterparts. Oh, that's, I don't judge. I, I... I when I was getting through 
uh, the watch training and I couldn't work, I, I had to moonlight as a, uh, as a sketch model, a nude sketch model. How'd that go? It was actually really hard. It's really hard to stay perfectly still for hours on end. Wait, 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 wait. No way. Where'd you do this? I did at the you art did this in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, Baldur's Gate Art Institute. The old BGI. What I recognized you from. <laughs> AI. <laughs> Do you recognize him? You know, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I sketched you. Hmm. I don't know if it's weird for you, but I, I'm not very good at drawing. Um, I took a couple classes. It wasn't. It, it didn't work for me. I don't think it was you. It wasn't. You were a great model. But uh, so what is what is your drawing. passion, man? Like, what are you passionate about? Having a good time, I suppose. <clears throat> just nice. you know, just, nice. just just earning enough to live the life you want to live, right? Right? Making the best of a shitty situation. That's what we're all doing. I can't all find anything to disagree with you on. <laughs> You're a pretty stand-up guy, Jerry. It makes sense. It makes sense. Lulu says to Rollercoast, "How long is he going to be high?" <laughs> I don't know. This is new. Have you never as had catnip? As I want. <laughs> I mean, I've had catnip, but that's not catnip. Okay. That's that's soul selling catnip. Man. I yeah. wish people understood how much souls how much you need souls. Yeah. Yeah, I do I, want to I mean, let you all know that I am fully capable of right now. I'm just also thoroughly enjoying myself. Just, just so you all know. Okay. One unit now. Well, based Let's on the, the way, based, the gas. Based on the way, uh, I, I'm thinking you'll probably have to prove it to Jarvis. Just based on the way he talked about Drac, he's hard to prove that to. You know what I mean? Well, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die soon. He looks really, really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> This is not a good place for him, uh, hell. Jerry Jerry runs to the front of the vehicle and he does one of these like Titanic things and he's like, All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Kaylee, room, room. You guys ready? How okay. long was it since our last long rest? From like waking up to how far did we have to go to get it's here? been like half a day. It's gonna Should be another at out least here? two days. Should we hang out here for the rest for like a while, go to sleep, and then leave fully refreshed? We can do one of those quick uh, quick missions that Maggie wanted us to do. I don't think they're going to be quick. Yeah, I don't want to go on patrol. I say we just head out. We got half a day's light. Have you? There's have no you light. Tried? It, it, it stays we sleeping. Let's, out there? Wait, we can. Yeah, I can drive while you guys sleep. I just remember I I don't sleep that much these All days. Right. These days I don't sleep oh, that man. much. You don't want to stay in the car for 48 hours. That sounds awful. We'll take out. Don't you want to sleep like on the ground? It just sounds not, it sounds better to me. I don't know. Whatever you guys want, we can go. Yeah, let's just head out then, I guess. Okay. Uh, you who's who's doing most of the driving? I feel like I it's my Jarvis turn. Volunteer. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go, Jerry. Do it. Jerry, make a survival check. With advantage, oh, from I'm gonna spend. Uh, I'm gonna spend some of the. If there's any downtime while we're driving, as I'm, I'll just sit in one of the uh, weapony things. Um, one of our weapons, I'll sit in one of those, and just during downtime, I'm gonna use that to to just copy some spell scrolls. Fourteen. Okay. You're marking off the a, a spell shaking. scroll, I should say. Marking off the whatever needs to be marked off. Money. Yeah, she. I don't. I'm not marking enough money because she gave me. I just. She gave me enough for two spells, and I used okay, one of them. So cool. I'm just using that second spell. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Just like paper or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What'd you get, Jer? Fourteen. Fourteen. You. Uh. You think you're making, and the rest of you think you're heading in the right direction. Um, overnight shift. I need let's just do one person and this will serve as the overall survival role for everyone who's doing the driving at night so 
I believe that would be Jarvis, Relicos, and Ollie. Jarvis oh. is our primary driver, yeah. nighttime driver. Yep. I believe yeah. he volunteered for that role. I did. Um, I'm also checking something. So I can also... Oh, no, it's immobile. Never mind. I haven't gotten to use to use my tiny hut yet, but it can't move with our vehicle. Doesn't it move with you? It says a uh, 10 foot radius immobile dome of four oh. springs into existence. So negative, Ghost Rider. Patterns are full. Someone died. Was it Kairos or was it Drac? What are you talking about? The sirens? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> that's on my end. Koreatown. <laughs> It's a wild and crazy place. All right, I'm making my overnight drive roll, right? Yes. Um, what was I rolling for? I was rolling for survival. 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 Oh boy. With advantage? Is it with advantage? Is there something I'm missing? I make oh. my hair as close to Kramer-like as possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Is there a reason why my roll would have been with advantage, or am I missing something? Sure, we'll give you advantage because the other three people are asleep. Is ever? Oh, I guess I'm the only one awake. So, um, uh, so without advantage, five, eight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you start. You need to throw in another soul coin. Number that's number one. Number two, uh, you uh, see a um, a rather imp imposing looking dust cloud in the distance, and I assume you swerve off because they're heading in the same direction you were heading, and I assume you swerve off away from them. Uh, yeah, I definitely do that. Okay. Like we're heading towards each other, or yeah, you're, we're going correct. in the same direction. Okay. Yeah, you're... I would like to avoid it without going too far off track. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I assume, yeah. I assume the main point would be to avoid them. Secondarily, would be to not go as far off track as possible. Yeah. Uh, you do that, and um, the morning comes, and you spent a good amount of gas doing that uh but you did not run into whatever this dust cloud uh in the distance is and everyone is awake hey guys uh so last night when you guys were sleeping big big dust cloud i i didn't want to go near it and risk anything but uh had to use a lot of fuel to go around it i put a soul coin in and when you put the soul coin in, how much of the meter did it fill up? Did you check? Yes. It filled it up a good amount. Three quarters. Okay. So do you run away from everything you see down here? Uh, not everything, but uh, big dust cloud. Y'all sleeping. I didn't think it was a good idea to wake you guys up in your sleep. Keep so throwing. if you guys were awake, I mean, next time, if you guys want to, you know, go into a dust cloud, by all means, let me know and I'll steer straight towards it. Well, when we're asleep, we can't really let you know. <clears throat> well, how about you tell me now next dust cloud while you're sleeping? You want me to go straight into it? Well, it's a matter of gas. I mean, now we have less gas. We still have to get all the way back. She did only give us the two coins. That's all. Now we'll see how it shakes out. Let's go. I wish my hair moved like Kramer's, though. Mine doesn't move. Very, there's very an static. app for that. What? There's an app for that. Oh, uh, there's an app for everything. Uh, so you guys start, you see some sundered chains on the ground, uh, reminiscent of the chains that hold down El Terrell. And uh, these Carver are doesn't like those chains. miles long, and they've been sundered in some way by something. You think it may be possible somehow to break those chains holding Elturel down. You guys climbed down the chains from Elturel too? That's how yep. I got down. It wasn't too bad. Climb. Hand holds. Right on 
a did we bring lulu with us yes okay <laughs> ride on an elephant climb down the chain same thing right nope one's climbing one's uh sitting there how much farther do you think we gotta go <laughs> um uh yeah so you guys spend the next day heading there and um one final survival check someone make with advantage i'll do it 15 okay um you start approaching this massive structure uh radiant light cascades from its rusted metal uh and it's shaped like upraised mandibles of a giant beetle and there's a orb in the middle of the mandibles suspended up uh and um yeah you guys are approaching the demon zapper hey lulu you said uh things coming out of the ground with an orb in the air yeah that might like be that? it that might be it convenient i'm pretty sure that's the demon zapper guys <clears throat> I'm I'm yeah. just like starting to doubt myself though, so I don't know. My memory's so screwed up. Good it's okay, Lulu. We got you. Okay. Uh, and uh, as you guys get closer, you see a sh sharp white light shoot out from the top of the demon zapper down, uh, in a straight line towards. This massive 20-foot tall, you'd think it was kind of like a minotaur, but it's a demonic minotaur with uh, red fur, covered in red fur with demon ichor sticking, uh, dripping off various points of it, and it's uh, got a massive, super wide mouth filled with uh, rows of sharp teeth and two gigantic horns coming out of its head and spines lining its back, uh, bony, sharp spines lining its back. And it gets hit with this bright light, and it looks very injured um, as it's charging towards this, this structure. Uh, what do you guys do? Well, I'll be damned. That is quite the smile, gents. I think we found Smiley. Uh, he looks like in a bad spot, though, so uh, let's go fast. Yep, yep, yep. Gas pedal. So you guys Who's are driving just away? driving up to it? Sure. Okay. It only it only stabs demons. Okay. Uh, as far as we know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jerry. This uh, is, that was the joke. <laughs> this is why I cast Mage Armor. <laughs> uh, I mean... Yeah. Um... So approaching the demon zapper, this thing turns and uh, right before it uh, hits the demon zapper again, it turns its attention towards you guys in the large machine and starts charging you guys. So let's roll initiative. As we're driving towards it, I'm musing to myself, kind of like, isn't this machine called a demon grinder? I hope it has no affiliation. <laughs> Jerry. We'll find out. 21. Rollercoast. 18. Ollie. 7. Dice. Eight. Jarvis. Mod 20. Alright. What Ooh, station are people on? Are you guys getting off the demon grinder? What are you doing? I'm manning the a, wrecking ball. I'll be on a harpoon. Okay. I would be in the other harpoon, but with my bow. All right. We'll say you're in range with your stuff, Jer. Go ahead and use your wrecking ball if you're going to use it, or hop off. It's up to you. I don't remember how to use the uh, wrecking ball. Where's the... Uh... You have to pull it up in the pin. Yeah. yeah. Reference material. Beep, beep, beep. This right. is good content. And it's the demon grinder you're looking for, right? Yeah. The demon grinder. Uh, I assume. Uh, 
I don't see where it's talking about the. Uh... Oh, oh, never mind. I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Right. Grappling claw, harpoon, crush. No, where's the? Uh... You're looking for the wrecking ball. I see. I see a uh, a devil's ride and a scavenger in the pin material. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, it's the next one up. Ah, a few more pictures. Go. Okay. Melee weapon attack. Okay, I rolled a 19, so. Uh, 19. Uh, you rolled a 19? Okay. Yeah, I just rolled 19. I don't think I add anything, right? 19 plus 9. It's oh. a hit. Who are we hitting? The Garistro that is charging you? The gotcha. demon. The one we think is smiley. That's what I'm wondering. That's I'm um, leaving that up to you guys. Do you guys want me to roll that in the uh, channel? The AD8. Uh, you can roll it there, or what? You can do whatever you want. Oh, AD8. Oh. Right then. I guess, I guess we're not. Uh... Forty-three. You guys can tell me what. Like, it's up to you. Huh? It's his turn. Jerry got Jerry got initiative. Go for it. Yeah, he's doing it. I don't think this will kill him. 43? 43. It's bloodied. Okay. And I'm... Um, nah. I was going to say I'm raging, but I'm not. It roars in rage at you guys. Jarvis. Wait, wait. Are you... And I shout out... Um, scroll up in my notes. Sorry, I forgot his name already. Smiler the Defiler. Smiler, yeah. Are, are, are you Smiler? We're, we're here looking for Smiler. You hear cursing in Abyssal if you speak Abyssal. I do. Um, you don't get a sense that it understood you. Uh, can I... I'll repeat it in Abyssal and I'll say Maggie sent us. Okay. That's your turn. Yep. Okay. Rollercoast. Who's driving? Uh, yeah, the other seats are taken, so I guess it'd be Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. Okay. Um, I am just going to ready a weapon attack to see if he responds. If he like becomes aggressive after people talk to him, I will shoot him. Okay. All right. Now the Garistro's turn, and it is going to uh, use its charge and gore attack. So go ahead and roll your attack. Yep. Nineteen. Yes. Ten damage. Strike it with a lance. With an arrow. With an arrow. And it charges, lowers its head, and uh, what's the AC of the machine? Or the damage threshold? It AC is... is 19. It hits with a 25. And uh, what's the damage th threshold? Ten. Ten. Okay, ten. 10. Mishap is 20. What does damage threshold mean exactly? It does it do zero damage. damage. Yeah. It. it does zero okay. damage if it's under the threshold. Got it. Okay, so the gore is 70 10. 7,010 damage. So, um, that's 92 damage as this thing crams its massive horns and head into the side of your uh, machine, knocking it sideways, nearly flipping it over. Uh, 
and it's a mishap. You said yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely crossed the mishap threshold of twenty. Someone roll a d20 for me. Got it. Eight. Weapon malfunction that causes the ball and chain on the back of your machine to flip up and get tangled in itself around its uh, mounting point, and it's no longer usable. Bummer. Who is operating that? Jeez. Jerry. And, uh, yeah. All right. That was the Garistro's turn. Ollie? Um, the finger, Rolly. The finger! And uh, I'll shout that to you, and then I'll cast Major Image. <clears throat> um, I don't... <clears throat> know a devil off the top of my head that I want to summon, but I've been in hell for a few days and probably seen some shit. Um, I'm going to make a major image of a large, smelly, angry-looking devil okay. um, that will be threatening to attack the Garistro. Okay. Um, from behind it. From from not in our direction. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head... Major image does all the fun things. It's a 20-foot cube, so it can be big. I'm going to make it as big as I can. Yeah. Um, it can create sounds, smells, temperature, though not enough to do any damage or have a, a direct effect, but realistic. And it can move realistically as well, and I can continue to move it realistically with my turn. Okay. Physical interaction reveals it to be an illusion, and if they take a turn to investigate, they can also determine that against my spell save DC. Okay. We'll say it's a No, I don't want to do that. That's a demon. Fuck. Just looking up an appropriate devil. Sure. Fuck it. We'll say it's just a massive chain devil. That works. Covered in chains, and the chains are animated. Um, Perfect. All right. That's your and turn. And that will be my turn. Lulu's turn, and Lulu... Uh, is going to use her turn to say, Wait, are we... Is this Smiler? Is this what we're doing? This is weird. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. Don't hurt him. And uh, Jerry, it's your turn. Uh, Jerry's just gonna ready. He's gonna. He can't use the uh, the ball bearing anymore, so he's gonna ready a a javelin attack. Okay. Until what? Her. I can see. I can't take the dodge. I can't. Until what uh, occurs? What will be the triggering event that causes you? If to... he if. If uh, Smiley attacks the, the uh, vehicle again. Okay. Jarvis. Uh, did he respond in Abyssal after I said something in Abyssal? Uh, you're, it's just curses and guttural noises, which, if you don't speak Abyssal, they all sound the same. Got it. <laughs> well, no, if I do speak Abyssal, though. Uh, curses. it's just curses. Oh, it's still, okay, got it. I and guttural it. noises. Okay, cool. Um, do, do I see, does... Does Rollicos happen to have the, the finger? Can I see it? Not yet. Um, did I see you put it in your pocket earlier? Do I see where it would be? It's in the bag of holding. Can a mage hand go in a bag of holding? That would be a question for... I'm going to say no. Unless you find a sage advice that says differently. Okay. Um, I'm just going to... Are we, we're right in front of this guy, or? Yeah, you guys are, he us. just rammed the shit out of you guys, knocking you about ten feet away, but, uh, you're pretty darn close. Boy. 
Um, I'm actually just going to use, since I can't get the finger from Rollercoaster, I'm just going to haste. Um, yeah, I'm going to haste Rollercoaster just in case. Okay. So he has an extra action. Concentra All right. It's concentration, right? Yeah. All right. That's your turn, Rollercoast. All right, I am going to pull the finger out of the bag. Mm hmm And jump out of the vehicle. Okay, make an acrobatics check. That's, pretty, that's a 19 on the die. Nice. You land on your paws. And then uh, I'm going to hold it out in front of me say mad maggie told us to give you this she wants you to come with us back to her okay holding the finger out that's your turn uh can i ready a dodge action with my hasted action i'll say yeah you can have you can uh have the, take the dodge action in addition using your hasted action cool uh you say that and the garistro roars back at you and uh not getting a good read on what's uh what's coming out of this thing like yeah. what it's thinking uh it's going to examine the the uh chained the f the fake chain devil what's your sp spell save 15 that's a uh... I think it's an intelligence check. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would investigation. I would yeah. assume it's got a minus two intelligence, so uh, that's a thirteen because it rolled a fifteen. So it thinks it's real. <laughs> thinks it's real. Nice. That's its turn. Ollie. Ollie. Um, <clears throat> sorry. What sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, I am going to. I'll uh, jump out and interpose myself just in front of Rollercoast and bring up my shield um, and take the dodge action in front of him. Acrobatics check, or you can use your action to uh, carefully get down without acrobatics check. Well, I won't use my dodge. I'll happily acrobatics my way down. Uh, that's a 13. Okay, you're good. So dodge action taken interposing yourself yep Lulu says guys I don't know if this is Smiler the Defiler I'm not sure what do you guys think this is scary kind of we're not sure either that's her turn Jerry Jerry Jerry's gonna dump, jump down with uh, Rollercoast and Ollie and just Acrobatics ready, check. Ready a dodge action. Yeah. Take the dodge action. Take the dodge, yeah. Make an acrobatics check. Jarvis, what are you thinking about doing? I'm going to hold the Toll the Dead for if they attack my. He attacks my party again. Jerry, what do you. Uh, what'd you get? Jerry. Back to my character sheet. Um, I got an 18. Okay, you're good. Uh, so you're gonna ready a toll the dead for what? Attacking your party? Uh, if, he, if he attacks my party again, I'm gonna ready a toll the dead. Yeah. Okay. Rollercoast. Uh, I'm gonna hand the ring to Jarvis, not ring, finger, and say, uh, try telling him that about this in abyssal. Did you get off the vehicle, Jarvis? I did not. Oh shit. <laughs> But I if you're handing to it say... to me, if you if you reach if you're reaching out, I would. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, if you're reaching I would out, say, yeah. uh, your character knows me. I do also speak Abyssal, and oh. I am standing next to you. Well then, I'll give it to all. <laughs> okay. Throw it out there. Uh, easier and solution, say... and because your character knows me, yeah. I'll throw that information out there for you. <laughs> Try talking to him in a, in his language. 
Then I oh, will right. once again take the dodge action with my hasted action. Okay. Gristro is attacking the major image, and it's going to make another investigation check on... If it attacks, it knows it, it passes through. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it, for some reason, I thought it like had to make that uh, check every uh, single time. Physical interaction with it exposes the illusion in okay. addition to investigating it actively. Cool. I think I'm glad I was very specific with my held to the dead. <laughs> so it uh, swings through it and uh, roars in anger as it realizes the illusion, and that's its turn. Ollie. I shout out to him in a missile. I tricked you like I trick all my friends. Smiler, is that you? Maggie sent us. And I, no, I don't. I hold the finger up high and aloft. I don't throw it at him. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say I throw it at him, but that's probably a bad idea. That's your turn. Um, I will action dodge. No, I'll say that. That was your that action. Yeah. Fine by me. Uh, Lulu uh, says, guys, uh, this is, uh, I, I think we're going to have to kill this thing. I, I'm not sure. I'll wait on oh, no. you guys. If if only... Say, Roll coast, get back on the cart. <laughs> if only I had sleep. <laughs> yeah. If you have only. polymorph. No, he doesn't. I don't have polymorph. Oh, I, I'm taking it at level 10 with my wizard. Transmutation. Jerry. What are we doing? Are we killing this thing or what? I, can anyone respond? Can they respond it, during my turn? Nope. Okay. You can use your action to ask that question. Uh, I mean, it sounds like we're killing this thing now, so I'm just going to take another swing at it. You're going to run up to it? Yeah, I'll run up to it. Okay. And leaving the safety of the pack and the safety of the war machine, Jerry runs up to this twenty foot tall uh, Minotaur demon. I'm gonna rage and I'm gonna The do... thing that just did a hundred and something damage to our uh It did ninety two. Ninety two. <laughs> He's raging. He's fine. Fair enough. Uh, raging. That would only be like uh, forty one or something. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty twenty one? Forty six. How, what was the 22. 22 hits? Yeah. Oh, 22 oh, damage? No, no, no. That was, that was the swing of the mole. And... For the damage, it is... Uh, 16. Were you doing great weapon master or no? No, I okay. wasn't. I'll, I'll, I'll say that when I do it. I'll just say GWM. Okay. Or like minus five or something. Okay. Because I'm still not sure if I want to kill it. Jarvis. Uh, fuck. All right. I'm going to. How hurt is this thing looking? Oh, uh, it's pretty fucked up from that the demon zapper. It's bloodied. All right, if he attacks, holding an action, if he attacks any member of my party, the second he goes to strike, I'm going to cast a Blight at him. Okay. Rollercoast. Oh, I'm going to give him one last chance, and I'll knock an arrow in case he attacks us. Okay. He's going to turn and attack uh, Jerry, so go ahead and roll your guys' attacks. Can you do a con save of 15 for my Blight? Yeah. Guys, this might not be Smiler. That's yeah. a feeling. That's a 19 con save. Okay, so what is that? I think it's half damage. Yeah. Does a 17 hit? No. Cool. Your arrow clinks off of its metallic skin. Alright, 32 damage halved, so what is that, uh, 16? Okay. And that arrow did that, and 
on Jerry. The two, it's going to punch you with its massive fists, which is a 29. Holy crap. And a 24. Yeah, they both hit. Uh, I just imagine these like trucks that are hands. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Honk, honk. So 13 on the first fist, bludgeoning Damn. damage. Feel lucky. And uh, <laughs> 205. 19, 19 <laughs> bludgeoning on the second fist. So 32. And then the hoof attack. Oh, Lord. It's a natural one, so that misses. And that's its turn. So right. half that? 16. So it was a tw it was a twelve and a nineteen, right? Or I don't remember. Was it thirteen. And a yeah, it was I think I, I think I said total. yeah, I said thirty-two. I'll just do that. So sixteen. Yep. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Is it movement or an action to get back onto the demon grinder? Like extra movement or an action? I would say um, extra movement. Sweet. Um, I'm going to. Look at Rollercoast and go like, fuck. Um, and then turn around and bolt back to the demon grinder. I'll use my feline's grace to get double movement so that I definitely have enough movement um, to hop onto the chomper in the front. Okay. And I will let off two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. It's good to have a, a, a warlock in the group. <laughs> Only a partial I'm only a little bit warlock um that's a 22 and a 17 17 does not hit hits. Ah, I was gonna... forgot something that's all right next turn maybe oh sweet a one uh, <laughs> does five points of damage five points of force damage with my flopping eldritch blast okay but i'm back on the chomper and i say jarvis drive uh, Did I you tell me in which direction to drive? <laughs> I point at Pro him. Pro yeah. Okay, um, that's that's what I figured. I was just making sure. I forgot the um, how much hit points does your machine have? Because it does double damage to to uh, two hundred objects. And still and alive. <laughs> it's barely running. So ninety two doubled is what it took on that. Ninety four. Got it. Yeah. It, it has Shit. sixteen points left. So it's, and it would take. Uh, another mishap, so someone give me another d20 roll. Got it. Two. Oh, you got it. Um, Jarvis, when you're like, you, he points to you, uh, you like try to turn the wheel, and it's locked. It's jammed for some reason after you think getting hit by this massive beast, uh, and it can't turn in the direction of the Garistro. Lulu goes, oh, we're okay. Um, well, oh, I don't want to get out of here, but uh, maybe I'm going to have to. And she's going to trumpet at this thing. <laughs> Lulu's going to kill it after being the one who was never sure she wanted to attack it. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna use trumpet of sparkles. It's just DC, whatever saving throw. That's a terrible save for the Gristro, but it's got a very good con, and it rolled a seven, and it has plus seven con, so that's fourteen, just enough to save. Just half damage. Sparkles shoot out of her trunk. Jerry. Uh, just a regular, another regular attack. Okay. Uh, it was a leaner, but um, it was a 13, doesn't hit. Second attack, uh, 
24. Yep. Uh, 12 damage. Okay. Jarvis. Am I... So I can't turn towards him? How far away from him? Or I assume I'm still looking at him, but I just can't go in that direction. Uh, yeah, your car is sideways, perpendicular to this uh, Garistro. So does that make sense? Yeah, so I'm going to drive backwards in reverse. Okay. Um, so that my harpooner can get off harpoons or arrows or whatever he meant. so desires. You can still get the harpoons off because your one side is perpendicular. Does that make sense? Like oh, okay, so he still has a shot from where we're at. No yeah. one's in the harpoon seat. Also that. Oh, oh I thought Relicos in the... was in it. No, he jumped out. Oh, that's right. I forgot he did that. Okay, then I'm not gonna move because my party's not in here. Um, I'll stay right here. Well, I can't drive. Um, I'm going to shout out, I can't, but the steering wheel's stuck! And then I'm going to throw a Toll the Dead, and if I can get a 15 Wisdom save. It's a 20. So that's a Sucker save, right? Okay, so nothing happens. Rolikos. Uh, Seeing that we're just going to kill this thing, I will use my Feline Agility and also get back on the car okay and then take my two regular shots plus my hasted shot okay. all of them sharpshooter nice 22 yes uh no and then 18 no okay so just the one Eighteen damage. Eighteen. That is it for me. I'm regretting my decision. Gristro's gonna bear down on Jerry and unleash multi attack again. Two fists. That's a thirty two and a twenty eight. For the fist attacks and the hoof is a 19. Yeah, they all three hit. Okay. First fist is 17 bludgeoning damage. Second fist is 15 bludgeoning damage. And. 32 again. <laughs> Twenty bludgeoning damage uh, from the hoof. So 52 total. And um, you must succeed on a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I believe that would be a let's see a nine. You are knocked prone. Dang. I take a hell of a lot of damage. 26. Ollie. How far away is Jerry and the Beast? About 15 feet. Oh. Only 15 feet, you say? Um, in that case, I'm going to jump down. Run at the Beast. So Make an acrobatics check. check to get down. It's a 14. Okay, you're good. Uh, I'm going to run at the Beast. I'm going to try to hit it with my fancy new longsword. Okay. And I pull up the longsword. You guys do notice that the longsword has changed a bit. It also looks darker. Still sleek, beautiful sword, uh, but definitely more darker and vicious. Um, I have extra attack, so it's two attacks. Okay. Hold on. Bonus action, going to cast hex, hex on him. Okay. I remembered something. New characters. They have is a lot a of save? abilities. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think hex just sticks. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Level one. Um, yeah, no. No save. Just okay. sticks. And then I will hit it twice. 
That just right. increases the damage on them, or? Yeah, potentially. Mm, crap. Garbage rolls. 19 and 18. 19 hits. 18 does not. Sweet. Um, I'm going to do a blade flourish with one of my inspirations. I will do a defensive flourish as well as on this attack as well. What does that do? Um, it is going to add... Double check. I, I believe it's going to add damage as well as add to my AC for the next till the end till my next turn. Okay. Yes, I have that right. All right. So damage is two D eight for that, and then a D six for hex. Okay. Six. Twenty five points of damage. 25 points damage, and I should have rolled those dice separately. It's a 6 and a 7. I'll use the 6 as my inspiration die. Um, so that boosts my AC up. By 6? Yep. Holy For shit. Turn. For one turn. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that may not be enough for this thing. <laughs> Gary, you were asking if I'm survivable? <laughs> Lulu... We're about to test this theory. <laughs> Lulu's turn, and she's going to do the same thing. I like how this thing was bloodied like a hundred points of damage ago. <laughs> <laughs> After a massive hit, it got bloodied and now it's still left. Uh, Anyone know how to activate the uh, demon zapper? No, it just zaps demons. It was already zapping him when we when we arrived. We want to do it True. again. Jer. My turn again? Wow. Um... Since it hits me every time, I'm just going to attack recklessly. Okay. So. Oh, don't need to. That's a 20, whatever, 26. Uh, Do it anyway to see if you crit. Oh, right. Good I mean, point. Also, nope. you have to say recklessly before you roll. So, like. I did. Yeah. So, and you said like you didn't need to. I was just making sure you weren't saying like oh. you're. Oh no, I was saying because the first roll was good. So. Okay. Um. Uh, 15 damage on the first attack. Yep. Same exact. Ooh, 17 and 18. Uh, 20, uh, 27. And then... Those non-great weapon master? Yeah, these are non-great weapon masters. Uh, I've, uh... 20, uh, 13 damage on the second one. Okay. Jarvie? Jarvis is going to toll the dead again. Jarvie, Jerry, and Rolly. Scared of using your spells over there, Jarvis? Um, no. Oh, wait, I was prone. I'm sorry. You used half your movement to get up, we'll say. Okay. I'm just trying not to fire any more concentration stuff so you don't drop your concentration. Fireball. Learn it. I don't have fireball. Or anymore. fireball. Firebolt is gone. Fireball I don't have. So, uh, that's a 19 wisdom save. Anything else? Try to turn the vehicle again. It's nope. work. Nope. Okay. Roller coast. Uh, take my three shots. All sharpshooter. Cat, you're in the way. Uh, that's a two on the die. That's not going to do it. That's a five on the die. There we go. 15 plus 5 is 20 mod. Yep. Oh, that's good. 6, 11, uh, 21 damage. Very injured. It's now the Gristro's turn. It's going to attack Jerry. And since it was recklessly, it gets advantage <laughs> on the three attacks. It's so far it's like to help you be five for it was so far it's five for six so I don't really care unless it gets crits which we cry first fist is a twenty two so that hits second f fist is a thirty one the hoof is a natural twenty. Oh, lordy. So the first fist is 20 bludgeoning damage. 
Second fist is 24 bludgeoning damage. And, and the, the hoof is the crit. Yeah. Is 37 bludgeoning damage. Oh, so how much there? That's 81 total. Uh, it was 20, 24, and 37. Yeah, so it's 81 total. So Jerry has to use his special uh, Relentless or whatever. Endurance? Yeah. Because you get knocked to... down? Yeah, I'm down to zero, but now I'm back up at one. Okay. One. You're knocked prone. Hit, hit point. Yeah. Were you uh, down before well, the hoof attack, or were you down after the no, hoof No, because I did an attack, so I got up. So no, no, no. I uh, I'm I'm asking if you were knocked unconscious. Like, when were you knocked unconscious? You, you he doesn't get knocked points? unconscious. He, he. When did you hit zero points after the first oh, ten no, damage? The, no, no, the next hoof. twelve damage or the no, last the hoof, one. the hoofing, the last one was what got there you me. Go. That's what I was asking. Thank you. Because I I have forty hit points left, so it would take eighty to knock me down. So okay, so I'm at one now. Holly. Um, you just saw Jerry get the shit kicked out of him. Yep. And I think to myself, <laughs> I can heal, but I can't heal that much. And I keep swinging at him to try and take him out. Yep. <laughs> My heals aren't going to do shit for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Jeez. I don't I'm, think taking I'm taking 159. Technically, I've taken 162 damage. Just yeah. me. It was bloodied yep. before he started fighting, though. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> so that was an 11, which misses, and a 21, which hits. Uh, so I get one hits. I'm going to defensive flourish again. Okay. You don't really need to roll your damage because it has one hit point. So uh, you God. stab it, poke it, or something? I, you... I very dramatically dance around it, slashing at it with this long sword, hold, like wielding it like a rapier or scimitar, like... Like a light weapon, I'm just like dancing around it, slashing at it, and finally it falls. And it melts away into demon ichor, and it is no longer in combat, and it is out. And uh, as you guys are kind of gathering yourself up, you see immediately hear Jerry. <laughs> you heal him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a heal, Jerry. As you're doing that, you see a figure appear at the base of the demon zapper. It's a large figure um, in a robe with uh, ashen face, very uh, rocky skin texture, and its lower half is a swirling mass of sand and dust as it uh, waves you forward to uh, come towards it. And that's where we'll... Leave it for tonight. Uh, do your healing, though, first. I was going to say, before we forget about it, uh, Jerry, you're getting 12 points of healing. Thank it's you. Something. You have a reference picture of this, dude, you could post in the chat? It's a Dao. It's a Dao? It's a Dao. So you, how do you spell that? D-A-O. Dao. Dao. It's fun to say. I like it. Are you sure it's not an S&P? Ha, ha. It took me a second, but I got there. Good I don't job. get it. Good job. <laughs> the knee <K. laughs> Oh, oh, it's Jerry. a, it's a oh, stock oh, market joke? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's rough. <laughs> Jake. It's nice to be oh, rich man. like Dave, who can play on the stock market. It's constantly on his money-making mind, you freaking capitalist. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. man. <laughs> I know about the stock market. Stock market. The stock, the stock market. market. Um, Stonks. <laughs> How much help? That's only what people in the know call it. Or Jerry was just in the stomp market. That's true. He was. <laughs> yeah, he was. That's a much better joke. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, did man. you get him? Did you give him the health yet? Yeah, I got the yeah, health. Okay. okay. Much appreciated. Jerry's just like, guys, that guy's fists are like mountains. <laughs> uh. That's perfect. That's a perfect hey, place. guys, our machine car is totally fucked. Yeah. 
uh and we'll get we'll get to that next week here on venture ventures Baldur's gate descent to avernus thank you for listening or watching i'm jake the dungeon master you can find me on twitter at jake friday and i believe i'm going to start streaming because i've got nothing else to do and uh, i might stream some world building or uh maybe some play a little of the last of us tomorrow and that'll be uh i don't know what time but just follow me on twitter if you're interested in watching uh, anyone else have anything going on streaming anything uh you can come check me out at twitch.tv slash i see the raws where I stream games cool video games excellent guys if there's nothing else thanks for joining me and uh be excellent to yourself and be excellent to others and be safe out there um keep each other safe so yeah see you guys later